Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I'm often asked how I landed my cloud engineering role or how I got into cloud or any other iteration of the same question. So I wanted to go over my journey in cloud and how it all started for me. And I think a good starting point would be my education. So as the title suggests, I don't have a computer science degree or any degree, but I do have a two year computer networking and technical support diploma. And as part of that diploma, I was required to complete a two month internship. Luckily enough, I got a junior IT admin role at a local company here in Kingston, Ontario. And as part of that internship, I was required to support hardware issues that employees might have or server patching in the local data center. So after that internship, I was able to secure a full-time offer at the same company as a technical support specialist. And while working in that role, I ran into a few issues, maybe after like four or five months where I needed to escalate it to the cloud team. And that's when I was introduced to AWS. So I saw uh, the cloud team working in AWS console and I'm like, oh, what, what is this? And they were like, oh yeah, this is AWS and that's how we offer our product to entire clients, right? So we had a SaaS based product that was being offered to clients. And yeah, um, I was amazed and I wanted to know more, uh, just seeing that cool dashboards and console. And yeah, that ignited a spark in me. So I reached out to my manager and also the cloud team manager to see if I can shadow them and kind of learn uh, about AWS. And they were totally fine with it. So. I guess I was lucky, but I, I know there are certain workplaces that won't allow that. But yeah, I started shadowing them. Uh, I saw like how we kind of integrated different AWS services to make our product deliverable to the clients. And after that, I was also offered to go on an AWS summit here in Toronto. And yeah, I think that was the point when I was like, oh, this is serious, right? Because when I went to the summit, I saw, I think there were around 3,000 people that were gathered and were talking about AWS so passionately. And also the swags, you, you can't ignore the swags. But yeah, there were so many cool demos and just seeing like these many people talking passionately about AWS and cloud computing was just amazing so yeah that's when i decided okay i'm going back uh and getting ready for my aws certification so i talked to my colleagues and the cloud team to see which would be a good start uh, for the certification and they recommended cloud practitioner so i took around two months i think to prepare because i needed to learn the cloud computing basics and like the, the terms and stuff and also the exam itself. So yeah, after two months, I cleared my cloud practitioner and then I started working on my personal project just to have some experience in AWS. And the project was basically my portfolio site that would be deployed to AWS and a really good infrastructure diagram and explanation on why I chose the services I chose and how much did it cost monthly to host my website. And I think it was around three months after I cleared my cloud practitioner exam, there was an opening in the cloud team. And I asked my manager if I, he was okay and if I should apply for it. And yeah, I was told like, yeah, go for it. So I went for it and there were four other applicants, I think, um, that were interviewing for the same position. But those, the other four were external applicants uh, one of them I knew had around 11 years of experience, I think. Um, but yeah, so going into the interview, I already knew the faces that I was interviewing with. And I think the interview went really well. Also, I demoed my project that I built about my personal website and also had a really good presentation on the architecture and why I chose different services. Uh, how much did it cost and how I minimized those costs. But yeah, I think I did a pretty good on the interview and I think and they went with me because I think I knew the product itself 
uh, even though I didn't know cloud as much as the other applicants, but I knew how our services are integrated with AWS. So yeah, and also I was an internal applicant, so I think they, they wanted to prefer me over um, external applicants. But yeah, I was offered the engineering role, so yeah, that's how I got into it. But yeah, I think the first tip I would give anyone is to utilize the resources you already have. So in my case, we did have a cloud team and me just reaching out to them so that I can shadow them was I think a really good starting point for me because I had no clue what cloud computing was at that point. And yeah, I think if I hadn't reached out and I started doing it on my own, I it would have taken me more time to get into a role. Uh, but yeah, and this also showed them that I was interested, and that I wanted to grow, and um, where I want to be in the next coming years. So yeah, after one year into the role, I started preparing for my AWS Solutions Architect, SysOps, Administrator, and Certified Cloud Developer certification, and I cleared them last year. I also became the core team member of the 100 Days of Cloud community, and yeah, I started learning in public. So basically I started posting my learnings and uh, how I was preparing for my certifications on my blog and also on Twitter and met really amazing folks uh, in the community. So I think a great tip would be to learn in public if you're starting out because it'll just help you to validate what you're learning and also after two years in the cloud engineering role, uh, I was recently offered a DevOps engineer role early this year, and I took it because that's what where my focus is and my interests lie now. Um, IAC, Terraform, and automation, and all of other buzzwords that you hear, like Kubernetes, Docker, and et cetera. So yeah, I think the greatest advice would be to going up instead of looking out for opportunities because I think the transition for me was really fast because I reached out to my cloud team and said, hey, can I shadow you guys? If I hadn't, I think I would have to study and discover cloud on my own after working full time. So I think it would have taken more time and then prepare for my certification and also apply at, for jobs at other companies. I think it would have taken me around eight to nine months, whereas I was able to get the cloud role really fast. Uh, and it also shows the company that you are willing to grow and also just makes the process fast. So yeah. And yeah, that has been my journey so far. And now I'm working as a DevOps engineer. So a lot of learning is still going on. Uh, especially with Kubernetes and containerization and Terraform. That's where my focus is right now. But yeah, we did go in depth with our interviewing experience and how our tech roles have been in our podcast uh, that's hosted by Gwen, me, and Antonio. So go check it out for some more insights. But yeah, this was just a short video on how I landed my role and hope you guys will land yours soon and yeah until next video and if you guys have any questions you can reach out to me on twitter it's at reshub k7 and i'll link it down below and also the podcast until next time